I'm here outside of the Haverford Middle School where I spent three years of my life. Today I will be showing you all of the places that me and my friends hung out at over the course of middle school. I will also be explaining how each place affected me as a person. The first stop on the list is the football field behind the Haverford Middle School. Me and my friends spent a ton of time here playing sports or doing really weird things that a lot of people would think were stupid for doing. Like for example, we would spin around in circles and try and see if we could run across the entire football field without falling down. We would also play football or basketball here for hours almost every weekend. The football field shows just how much I like playing sports because not only did I play sports with my friends, but I also played in organized leagues. I also played sports for, my, for the school including track where I was running right here. Now I'm here at the Wawa on Eagle Road. Me and my friends used to come to this Wawa all the time. We would come and spend all of our money here. It shows that we didn't spend our money wisely because we would spend all of our money here every time we came. But it also shows how we've matured because now when we come, we save most of our money and even if we have money, we don't always buy something. This Wawa also shows how we've matured because at the beginning of middle school, we would never share our money with anyone. But now, if someone doesn't have money, we'll usually loan them money as long as they pay us back. This Wawa also shows how much me and my friends like to eat because we would buy a ton of food here. Wawa on Darby and Manoa Road. Me and my friends didn't go to this Wawa as much in sixth and beginning of seventh grade, but in the middle of seventh grade, we started going there and we went here all the time for the rest of 7th grade and throughout 8th grade. That is because my friends, all, in 6th grade, all my friends lived on the other side of town closer to the other Wawa. This Wawa shows how my, I wasn't always friends with the same people throughout all of middle school. This Wawa also shows how me and my friends didn't always agree on everything because we would always argue over which Wawa to go to. We usually ended up going to whichever one was closer. Now I'm here outside of the skadium. Me and my friends went to the skadium all the time during 8th grade. It shows that we weren't that smart with our money because we, none of us really liked skating that much. We just came here to hang out with each other. But we came here anyway and paid $10 just to hang out with each other when we could have done it for free anywhere else. It all, the skadium also shows how me and my friends got bored of things very easily because we came here all the time in late fall to early winter of 8th grade and then all of a sudden we just stopped going there because we didn't like it anymore. Now I'm here outside of Chenzo's Pizzeria. Me and my friends went to Chenzo's all the time during 6th and 7th grade but eventually we just stopped going there. That is because just like at the skadium we get bored of things very easily. Most of my friends just got bored of getting pizza. I didn't get bored. I usually tried to talk my friends into coming, still coming to Tenzo's, but I'm a follower, like I said before, so I followed them to Wawa when they didn't want to go. Now I'm here in my basement. My basement is where my friends always wanted to come hang out. My basement shows that I'm a follower, again, because not, I didn't always want my friends to come over, but they usually persuaded me into letting them come over anyway. My basement also shows how goofy and silly my friends were because we would do a lot of weird things down here, like running around and throwing things at each other. I've also spent a lot of time over my middle school life watching TV and playing video games down in my basement either with my friends or without my friends. That shows that I didn't always do things to be active, but I also spent a lot of time on technology. Now I'm back at the middle school. Overall, my three years here were pretty great. The schoolwork wasn't always that great, but I had a lot of fun, both in school and occasionally inside of school. If I could go back and do my three years over again, I probably would choose not to because I like how things turned out and I like where I am now.
hopefully I'll like how the future turns out in high school and beyond.